in this video I'm going to be showing you some um, nails. These nails that I bought are Broadway nails. They're fake French tip nails and they've got a little bit of um, kind of, it's called like a moon and it's, it's kind of make it more natural because your natural nails usually have a little bit of a show right at the end. It's just a little bit whiter than the rest of the nail. And these are my natural nails which are basically the same length as the ones that I bought. And I'm going to be showing you how to make these French tips um, to kind of match up with the fake ones. And I'm also going to be showing you how to apply um, fake nails onto nails so that they're the right size, how to fit them, um, and how to glue them on. So we're going to start off with a couple of styles um, of nails. So these are the Broadway nails that I have on at the moment. They're clear, as you can see, you can see right through them. That means that um, when you apply the glue, it can kind of go a little bit like air bubbles, so they don't last as long as, say, ones like uh, these ones that already have the pink. See, they're, they're not see-through, they already have the pink on it. Now, these do look a little bit natural, but they don't last as long. So these are really handy for people who are just kind of doing it an everyday kind of look. They're not doing it for a special occasion. These I wore to a wedding, so these are the special occasion ones. I only get these um, if I'm going to like the Debs or whatever. These ones are more like everyday ones because they're not as natural. They're a little bit cheaper and they're a little bit easier to use. Now if you're new to nails, the best ones for you is to get the ones with this little tab. The tab has a number on it so that you can match up the hands. So if say this is a number three, then you're gonna get the number three for this one. But you wanna make sure, cause sometimes your nails can be different sizes on different hands. You wanna make sure that they actually do um, fit well. So I'm going to be showing you how to fit them in a couple of seconds. But these are definitely easy for people who um, maybe don't really know how to use nails or they've never done it before or if their natural nails are quite short. These are the shorter ones. So you want to go for ones that are um, quite similar to your natural nail growth because um, if, like when I started off, I used the shorter ones but now I'm kind of used to them so I can use the really, really long ones. You can also get really cute ones like these that have a little bit of diamond and some flowers on it. Or you can get, let me see if I can find it, um, for like a wedding and stuff, you can get really, really pretty ones with decorations on them like these. Because that's beautiful. I don't know if you can see that. It's got the little bit of detail, kind of like lace, but it's got a little bit of flowers on it. And it looks really, really beautiful with um, a wedding dress any type of nails that usually have the decorations and stuff um, in Claire's. Claire's is a really good place to get them. That's where I usually get my nails. Um, the Broadway nails are sold in most supermarkets. I'll show you how to apply nails and I'm going to be using my thumbnail. First thing you want to do is you want to find some sizes just to see, you know, pick out some that look right about the decent size for whatever nail you're doing. I'm doing the thumb so I'm picking out kind of the biggest ones that are there. So I'm going to try out this one. Now this one looks pretty big, but you also want to make sure just to try them out because you don't know, you know, some people's nails might look a bit smaller than they actually are. So I've placed this on, right, and I always ask the person I'm doing, you know, is it comfortable? So you want to ask yourself, does it feel comfortable or is it pinching you? Is it too tight or is it too big? So as you can see, this one is definitely too big because it's showing up around the edges and it's actually onto the skin on to a smaller one. So I'll just pick up this one. This one is definitely too small. So this one is a, an option of a really, really, really small. So as you can see, it's showing, ooh, <laughs> as you can see, it's showing on both sides. So no matter what way I put it, it's definitely going to be too small. So you can see that there. That's definitely too small. Now, if I'm using one that's about the right size, but a little bit too small, usually you can feel it because it feels a little bit too tight. And you wanna make sure that if it, you know, when you apply the glue, it gets tighter. So ask the person, you know, is that comfortable? Is it a little bit too tight? And really watch the edges because you see that? That looks pretty much the right um, size. But if you look really closely, it's just showing a tiny bit in the edge. And that's what makes everything look a little bit cheap and badly done. So this is the right size. It fits perfectly. It's comfortable. It's not showing on the edge. And I'm just going to show you how to use the glue. The one that you get with Broadway nails. 
and it's pink glue. Pink because you're going to be able to see it. So I want to show you another glue. This is the glue that I usually carry around in my bag only because there's no, this kind of can slip off sometimes and um, can kind of get into your bag and stuff. Whereas this one's tightly closed. And this is handy because it's a brush so you can be very um, precise on where you actually apply the glue. So I'm going to be using the Broadway nails, Broadway glue and um you can usually like pierce the end of it if you if you're kind of like on the go and stuff have a little like safety pin or something and you can pierce the end of it just put in the pin just so um that the glue can actually come out but most of the time the glue end kind of stays open so this is what i'm gonna do i'm gonna apply a little small amount just um, squeezing a tiny amount out, not a big blob, because the big blobs go everywhere. And you just want to apply a light layer all the way around. You can usually just go just before the edge, because it does push out as you apply the nail. So, there we go. Apply it right up. Apply the tap. Now, I like to let it dry just a couple of seconds. So you start off at the back. So, you get it right to the back. And you push it down. And then you can start moving it around whether you need to or not. Just try and make sure that it fits either way so it kind of wobble a little bit. And then what I like to do is before the glue dries, I pull down the skin so the glue doesn't get onto the skin because that can be really painful. So if you do it now, you're going to avoid um, getting it onto the skin so that when it takes off, it doesn't take off any of the skin underneath. So what you do is you just pull that skin down so that none of the glue gets onto the skin and then you can release it and it's fine. Now you let that dry and there you go. Here's your little nail. Now the thing is with nails is um, say if you put the wrong size on say if you picked up the wrong one just before you put it on and you put the wrong size on that's you're kind of stuck with it for at least 24 hours. I wouldn't try taking off nails um, if they're just recently been glued on for at least 24 hours. The way that I take off my nails, when they're a little bit weaker, see I'm just going to take off this one, and um, they're a little bit weaker, you can kind of push at the sides, just very lightly, just keep pushing at the sides, and usually one side will come up, and then you push on the other side, and the other side will come up, and then you can just kind of lift it just a tiny bit, but you want to make sure that you don't kind of hurt the cuticle, don't force it off. Um, that is just extremely painful. You can end up damaging your actual nail the way that it grows out again. So you really don't want to do that. So you just push on the sides very lightly. Just keep doing it. And eventually the nail will come off. But make sure you don't push it too much that it actually hurts. And make sure you do this on yourself and you don't do it on anyone else because obviously you can't feel on, on whether it is actually giving whatsoever. So then you can just kind of get your finger in there. See, it's starting to come off now. And then you hear that little click. That's just the glue coming off. Now, it's come off on this side, as you can see. Oh, but you don't want to yank it this way. You want to bring it over that way. Obviously, it just fell off really easily there. Now, when you take off, see how it's got some glue on it? Now, the best thing for this is to put a little bit of cuticle oil. Um, just rub it into the nail. And then you can kind of buff it off. But the way that I usually do it, if I have a lot of um, glue left over, I usually get my nail file and I get the weakest part of the nail file and I just kind of brush over very lightly just to remove the glue. Right at the corners. I'll just show you. So you just do this very lightly. You're not you're you're not doing anything to the nail, you're just doing it to the glue that's left over. It's just very lightly going in the same direction all the time so you're not doing this you're just going down across and that's just going to remove most of the, the nail glue so now that i have the nail say that it's it's fallen off right you want to make sure that you clean it up because as you can see that these are still clear ones you want to clean up the edges to remove any of the excess um, glue so that when you reapply it it doesn't look too messy 